What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to, well, I guess welcome to the first episode of our College Football Coach Career Edition series we're going to do here on the channel. Before I get into it, I'll explain why I'm doing it exactly. I'm currently out of town, unavailable to upload A's franchise or Bucks franchise. I don't have my capture card or my PS4 at the moment. So, in order to have any content on the channel, I'm going to have to do it this way for now. Uh, hopefully that will be fixed by next week and I will be back to recording A's and starting our Bucks franchise so we can get that going. But with that said, we're going to get into this series and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Basically what the College Football Coach is, it's a mobile app and it's kind of like a coach simulator where you take over a team that's not very good if you do the career edition, which is what we're doing. And you try to build them up or possibly get a better job for your coach and try to win national championship from nothing. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, it's not super, it's not like out of the park baseball levels of accuracy when it comes to ratings and off season stuff. But for a free mobile game, it's very fun and a lot of, you know, replay valuable out of it. So let's get right into it. We're going to start a new career. We'll go with default. So Alabama will be Alabama. They're, obviously, it's not the Crimson Tide, but because they don't have rights to the teams or anything. We're going to do challenge mode. It's the hardest mode. And we're going to pick the worst team, which is Muncie. For coach, we're going to go Aaron Rose. Those of you that have been around on the channel for a while know who he is. Those of you who do not, he was our quarterback in Madden 17 with the Bears franchise. And they're explaining that we are the 118th ranked school. And we're expected to finish 12th and go 0-12. So we want to try to beat those odds. And basically it's a pretty, pretty easy interface. You have the rankings, you get your standings. Which we are in the central, so we're way down here. And then you can look at your schedule. And your roster. And you can also do player stats. I'm sorry, that's team stats. Player stats, though, you just click on the player. And you scroll down. It shows their touchdowns, passing yards for every game. And all that good stuff. You can look at their career stats as well. If they play, you know, if you get further in, you go. So let's just take a quick look at the depth chart to explain the positions. I'm not going to adjust anybody the first year because... You know, I want to build the team. This is not the team I built. Uh, we have the one quarterback. You get two starting running backs. You start one tight end. And you start three starters at receiver. And obviously, if there's... If you have younger players to play, play the younger players. They'll improve better. And then the offensive line, there's no set position. It's just five offensive linemen that start... And you have five bench people. D-line's kind of the same thing. You get four down linemen. Linebackers, you get three linebackers. There's no inside or outside. And the corners, three of those. And then two safeties, no free, no strong. So we'll keep the same lineup. So I don't want this first episode to drag on super long because I do want to do the first offseason season. And we had to get the uh, kind of the introduction in. We're going to end up being a West Coast offense and 4-3 defense. So let's go to the schedule. We're going to sim through these games. This goes very quick. Week 1, we're at Chicago. And we get the 45-7 loss. Followed 0-1 on the season. Week 2, we're taking on Louisville. And we get another loss. We're probably going to be really bad, but worst ranked school in the game. And after every game, if there's injuries, they will show you that or someone's suspended. You can click on or off to show them each week. I take them off because I don't want to see them because it'll automatically put backups in for you. Um, I would check that, though, every now and then just in case they leave a player. That If you swap a player out and then he gets hurt, they might not put him back in. I'm not sure how that works. So I would check it every now and then, but 
Week three, home against Arkansas. First home game. I'm sorry, second home game, and we lose that as well. Then we start our conference play at Toledo. The ranked 111, so we got a shot of beating them. But we don't. We lose 17 to 3. So we're 0 4. Now we go to Kalamazoo. Another good shot at getting our first win. But we don't. We lose that one 14 to 7. And then at the halfway mark here at Buffalo. And we're at the midseason. So halfway through the season, you get a progress report. It tells you if your players go up or not. So Jaquan Robertson, our senior quarterback, up to a 73. We do get a loss there as well. And a lot of times I like to look at the standings there. So we're still last at 0-3. And then I'm not going to go into everyone, but I'll show you what I mean by player stats. You can look. Robinson's passed for 797 yards through six games. That's not very good. I'm assuming we're a running back team. No, he has 95 yards. And we're just having a really bad... We just have a bad team, I guess. Well, let's finish out this first season. Six games left at Detroit. And we get a loss. So we're 0-7. Now we're at Miami of Ohio. Probably our best chance of getting a win the rest of the year. And we don't. So we fall to 0-8 on the year. And we're going to take on Ohio. We get another loss that's 0-9. Home against Akron. And we get our first win, 24 to 21. And you can look at the box scores. I'll show you the team. We had 260 total yards. One turnover to their two. So defense must have played a part in that one. So at Bowling Green in week 11. And we get another loss, 0 and 10. So we're 1 and 10 on the year. Facing Mount Pleasant the last week of the season, we get another loss. So we end the season 1-11. and 11. Not very good. So let's take a look at the roster. Final stats. Jaquan Robinson, 8 touchdowns, 1,500 yards, 7 picks. Not very good. Lance Hunter, 277 yards. Lauren McGee is our lead receiver, I think. 533 yards and a touchdown. See what Drayton Ball did. This is 362. He's probably going to be the guy next year. I guess Hunter's going to be gone. Gregory Smith, 314. Clinton McBride, he's going to be gone as well. So there'll be some turnover here on offense as we bring in some of the guys that we recruit. And I don't really care to look at the defense. So that's that. Now let's go to the player championships. And Muncie's star cornerback, our star cornerback, Donnie Evans, is suspended from the team. Excessive partying. Didn't even know you could do that. Well, it's a good thing the season is over. So now the Offensive Player of the Year award, it's basically the Heisman. And it goes to Adis, Adonis Reese from Cal. It has all these. Defensive player of the year. Freshman of the year. It's not, none of them are going to be ours, guys, most likely. All-American team. Yeah, we have none of them. All-freshman team. Nope. So maybe we can make the Centrance All-Conference team, which is us. And I don't see us on there either. So we didn't have any awards. So that'll be a goal for the next season. To definitely try to get some players. And Virginia Polly wins the national championship. 
by defeating Alabama. I've never seen Alabama not win before, so that's pretty interesting. So at the end of the thing, you get a season summary. Virginia probably ran the table 15-0, and won the national championship. We finished dead last at 1-11. and So we lose prestige points because we did not meet our goal of top 100. We don't get anything for winning more games than they thought we would, I guess. I don't know. So we're down to 26th, which prestige affects your amount of money you get for recruiting. All season contracts. We have five years left on our contract. We got no job offers because we sucked. And that just tells you coaching changes. We had nobody transfer in or out. So then the next thing, the last thing you do in the offseason is you begin recruiting. And we have all these guys leaving. So we're going to go to begin recruiting. And it's basically, you get a budget. Each player costs, you know, obviously the better player is going to cost them more money. And you use that to try to re rebuild your roster. What I like to do is go through just in order. Uh, we need one quarterback on roster. We don't have... A very good guy on there. So we are going to want to spend at least a little bit of money on a quarterback. We'll get Jordan Moore, three-star recruit, $179. Running back, Drayton Ball, I think, can be decent, so we're not going to go super expensive here. I think Marlon Wright would be fine. And then we need three receivers. And we only have George Smith left on the roster that's decent. But again, we don't want to spend too much money on wide receiver. So we'll go with Jimmy Medlock, three-star recruit for $85. That's not bad. And then we'll also get Kobe Crawford, 82 bucks. Hopefully they can be our guys going forward in the recruiting in the receiver position and then we'll just go cheap with our last guy it's really what it's about trying to balance it out get everything you need uh, and then you have money left over you can always go back through so we're going to say cheap with our O-line just because we have a couple guys and I want to spend some money on the defense Like cornerback is a big need, so we're gonna try to get a big one big quarterback. Roderick Fowler. It's not a whole lot of money, but try Xavier Downing. Let's go up and address the D-line a little bit. I'm not too worried about making a splash right away. Obviously, once we bring in our own players, it'll be more, you know, I'll be more apt to spend money on certain places. It's going to take a couple years to really get Corey Bonner. Grab him. It's going to take a couple years. So we have $19 and we still need three corners. So what's probably going to end up happening is we're going to end up auto-picking these guys. We have $1, so we're done. It'll auto-fill your positions, too, if you don't have budget left. or So for the recruiting class... National champions get fifth, Virginia Poly. We are probably not that high. 108. We did better than some big schools, so I thought that was a decent, you know, for not having much prestige to work with. So we are projected to go 0 12 next year again. We're going to save our progress for next episode. 
because you can only save in this game at the end of each season or, you know, before the next season starts. So we're going to go ahead and save that. That's also going to do it for today's video, guys. I'm excited for this series. I hope you guys are. If you are, smash that like button down below. Be sure to subscribe for more of this as well as, you know, A's franchise, Bucks franchise. As soon as we get that going, uh, get back to town. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you are interested in this series. It, I think it could be a lot of fun and be just something we do on certain days to just kind of, if I'm, you know, having a slow day and I'm not able to get a, an actual edited video out, we could do something like this and something new to the channel. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As always, till next time, peace.